Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. The tea is hot today because this marriage is about to break down. So we're at the youth festival or the, the children's festival, I've forgotten what it's called. And there's this really awesome kiosk with the most amazing looking ice cream that we just ordered. And basically our sim here, Sara, who has had a love interest uh, in, in another woman. Her, her husband's realized that she's got feelings for this woman and she is yet to admit that to herself. And they're meant to be chatting about it. But the thing is, Ket is uh, very, very angry. He's got heart break fueled fury. How could that sim betray him? Oh, and now he's feeling logical. Well, that, that's nice. Anyway, we, we really need to, these two need to talk things out, okay? We need, a, we need to have a moment where they're not just horrible to each other. I'm sorry about how things are going. I'm sorry that you feel like I'm a different person. Can we maybe go chat? So let's go here together and hopefully everyone else doesn't follow us. <laughs> because <laughs> they tend to have a habit of doing that. I might check in on our needs too, so hygiene is a bit low for him. Sarah's actually in a pretty good mood and she's feeling sad. She's sad because she's still feeling hurt. Time may heal Sarah's pain, but it still hurts for now. Okay, so he's apologizing as well. You know, she's, she's saying, you know, how'd we get here? We're newlyweds. This was meant, meant to be such a happy, point in our life you had a new job we moved here for that but there's just been nothing for me so i went in my own direction and he's like i understand that well maybe maybe we need to do a little bit more together maybe i can take you to dinner out, like out to dinner sometime like i mean that would be really nice i have felt a bit neglected a coffee sometime would would help but i feel like she'd also be like well i don't want to be like the needy wife when you're trying to do your job but one thing that he really does have to ask her is are you actually into your friend? And she has to decide whether or not she's going to be honest about that. She's like, you need to be honest with me. Are you into Mickey? Like, do you see her as more than just a friend? And what is Sarah saying? She kind of looks like, she looks like she said, no, I'm not into her. She's just my friend. Okay. And so he's like, so you're into me, my sweet, sweet apple pie. Let's uh, give her a kiss. All right, so they've kind of made up. Let's check in on their uh, sentiments and see if there's anything that's changed. They actually have no sentiments right now. So they've kissed and made up. Some of you guys will be wanting them to break up and others of you will be wanting them to work more on their relationship. I mean, a lot of people say that people these days, they just don't, or they don't try hard enough to fix issues. They give up too easily. So these guys, they're gonna try a little bit longer. So they're basically on neutral ground again, although their friendship has suffered a lot and their relationship has suffered a lot too. And if we look at Sarah over here and her relationship with Mickey, she has a far stronger relationship with Mickey. So I think she's lying to herself and to her husband a lot right now. Anyway, well, at least they, they're trying, all right? At least they're trying. <laughs> what else can we do over here? So if you have kids, you can actually do this void critter challenge where you have to find the void critters. What is the mountain move? Let's make you take a photo. Uh, I've got to say that the two events that we're seeing here, I don't know how many other festivals there are, and I was a little bit disappointed in the last part, I think it was with the snow festival. I felt like there wasn't really anything to do. Um, so in terms of reviewing this pack, I'm a little disappointed in festivals uh, and and the opportunities for incentives in this pack, as well as the uh, aspiration rewards are a little, they're lacking, you know? So I, I would like to see more incentive in the game. Although I do think that this pack is very beautiful. I love the Japanese inspiration. Is this the wave? Was that the wave? <laughs> or what was it, the mountain move? Who knew Yamachan was such a great dancer? Woo! <laughs> That's cute. Uh, maybe, you know what is a common thing that people, well, I won't say common, but is actually a thing that people do. You might know someone who's done this or you might've done this yourself or be thinking about this. But a lot of people think that starting a family can, help solve problems or moving house or moving in together can help solve relationship issues. So that's a, that we could definitely have a little 
passionate moments together and, and maybe try for baby and get Sarah pregnant. But I don't feel like Sarah would want that right now because she does want to climb a mountain. And I just don't feel like that's as easy when you're when you're expecting. <laughs> so anyway, let's get them to come home. Uh, she's gonna apologize. Why is she apologizing to Baba? I guess she can do another apology. Mickey would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? All right, could be too soon. Like, I don't know. They've just said they need to spend more time together and Sarah's already having this girl over again who's being problematic to her relationship. So I feel like she's she's on, she's walking on eggshells here. <laughs> uh, so ask about day, hug maybe. I mean, hug isn't being flirtatious. Oh, he's, you know, you really shouldn't clean the table when there's food on there because you're going to like, you're gonna get stuff in the food. <laughs> uh, we might also get you to empty this. Is he gonna even acknowledge Mickey? He's just gonna sit down and watch some TV. Okay, and also it's Sunday. Is he needing, oh, he's done everything he needs to for work. He is very, he's a very hard worker. All right, so we can just, you know, chat. That's fine. Uh, Bob is here. Baba can say hi to Mickey. She should share her tips about, you know, chilling out and living a more relaxed lifestyle. <laughs> Again, Bob is very traditional. She thinks a woman, you know, keeps the home nice. She's not a career driven woman and she instills that belief on those people around her too. So Mickey being a career girl would be, or career woman would be a bit like, oh, thanks, Baba. But I guess when people are elderly, kind of, they get away with anything, right? <laughs> All right, uh, so he's fallen asleep on the couch. I mean, I feel like if you need to go to sleep, you may as well go to sleep. Oh no, we need to fix this up here. Um, I might actually, how are we going with funds? We should really repair it ourselves. We don't have a whole heap of money. And I was just thinking then, since our promotion, did we get anything new? I think we just got a new outfit um, for Ket. So that's okay. So he's gonna go to sleep. We're gonna quickly fix this. Mickey's gonna come keep us company. Oh no, she's not. She's just gonna get on the computer. Mickey, you can't like get on the computer when he's sleeping. I feel like Mickey has a little bit of a, she she gets confused with boundaries sometimes. <laughs> okay, level two of the handiness skills and brush our teeth to get hygiene up. And maybe we could go for a bit of a rock climb with Mickey. It'd be nice to plan a rock climbing experience with Mickey actually, uh, which can be a social event. But in order to do that, we do need to improve our rock climbing skills. So I say we go to the mountain. Uh, we'll go, these are all rentals as well. So we could actually go on a holiday at some stage. Let's get, take Mickey with us. Ket is sleeping. So I feel like he, there's no more time that can be spent together. He needs to rest for work the next day. All right, let's go rock climbing. Now, what we found out last time was that we can ride to the top of this. Oh, actually ride to the top with Mickey, one ton of bee. We'll go up to the top of this and up we go. Cool. Uh, and this is the higher climbing wall. So let's just, oh, we need to equip. I thought we could climb together as a social interaction. But the more I do it, the more I realize that it's very much a solitary experience, unless you're doing the events where you climb together, I think. So let's get her to inspect this. I, I do worry about her clothing. <laughs> I mean, I just, I feel like she should get into active wear before she climbs. Okay, so what, what, what's the go-go? What, what conditions are we working with here? Uh, medium chance. Okay, well, let's continuously climb with meticulous actions. And Mickey, I don't know what Mickey is doing. Mickey's gone. <laughs> well, at least we could just speed this up and level up a little bit. The other thing is Sarah might want to get a job at some stage. I think if you get good at snowboarding, you can kind of film yourself snowboarding. So we could definitely level up in that. Uh, but of course, that's a separate skill. So let's focus on rock climbing first because I do want to go to the, the summit and complete that. And we also need to encounter a forest spirit still. I know if we're ever going to find a forest spirit, it feels like we never will. Okay, I think we should probably go home after this. We've, we've reached level two of the fitness skill. So it's kind of interesting that we have both fitness skill and a rock climbing skill that's being achieved 
simultaneously. Oh my gosh, we've unlocked the outdoorsy lifestyle. Yay! <laughs> so our close knit lifestyle is in progress. So this means that we would keep good friends for longer, but have a harder time staying friends with Sims at lower relationship levels. So we have the outdoorsy trait now. Sims living an outdoorsy lifestyle prefer to be outside taking in the fresh air. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, prioritize doing activities outdoors rather than indoors. Various benefits when doing outdoor activities prefers to be outdoors, increased work performance in outdoor careers, tense when spending too much time inside rather than outside. Okay, well that all makes sense. Yay! All right, well let's go home and then tomorrow I will uh, take these two for a hike and we can hopefully finally find that spirit so we can level up in this aspiration. And it would be cool if we could level up our snowboarding skill too, but I might do that off camera before the next part. Oh my gosh, you guys, Baba peed herself as we got home. She's really, she's really elderly. And you know, when you're, when you're older, you can have issues with your bladder. So, um, you know, she, she's, she's getting old, Baba. Dear old Baba. So she's not in the silver bit, uh, where that means she's gonna pass away soon, but she's definitely, you know, she's getting there. She's getting there. And now she's all embarrassed. I also really wanna get a different shower because it feels like they shower for like 10 years with this one. It might be because it's the cheapest one. Anyway, let's get her to mop this up so no one notices and then we'll get her into bed before the others wake up. Okay, so it is the morning. Uh, Ket has, I was trying to get his fun up before work. Look, he's not in the best mood. He was really tired last night. Ooh, oh, I, I don't know if you guys just saw his outfit, but I think he was wearing something slightly different. Uh, so yeah, uh, oh, we do have some bills to pay as well. So I will get uh, Sarah to pay for those in just a second. And also I realized my face camera was sitting really high, so apologies that my head was taking up so much of the screen before. Is a Kaya business meeting. The boss calls an end of day meeting, even though it's only 10, 30 in the morning, at local Is a Kaya. It's implied that this gathering is what good team players participate in. Ket has a bad meal at lunch and really feels like he should head home to recuperate. So will he sneak off home or head to the izakaya? Well, I feel like because he's a workaholic, he'll kind of just try and push through anything. So I feel like he's gonna just push through and go to the toilet a few times. <laughs> so, oh no, Baba Nakamura's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. No, no, Baba. Oh, by the way, we got a performance skate in then because we didn't go home. The boss was very impressed with how many peanuts Kit could fit in his mouth while still singing the company anthem. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Uh, so she's, why would you eat animal crackers out of all these things <laughs> that you have to choose from? Also, let's remove this climbing gear. Baba, I'm so sad her life is coming to an end. Oh my gosh, look. Oh. So sad. I definitely think we should go for a, a walk with Baba. I mean, Mickey's gonna be here, you know, longer. So let, let's go with Baba instead today. You know, we can, we can have a few moments with Baba, I think. Some meaningful moments whilst we're on that walk. Oh, so yeah. sad. Go so I was like, so do you wanna, do you wanna go for a walk today? Bubba. I promise I'll make sure that we have uh, all the sprays and things that you need because last time you were attacked by a giant centipede, I think, and that was just, that was not a good time. <laughs> so let's make sure that uh, we got to pay our bills and we got to make sure that we can order that adventure gear. There we go. So I forgot what we have and what we don't have. So I'm just going to grab one of everything. I mean, it's good to have one of everything. Also, I am spending a lot of money and I feel like we're gonna run into money problems soon. Okay, bills are paid. Let's go with Baba on a walk. Baba's feeling really happy at this point in her life. She's energized, she feels healthy from her healthy lifestyle. I wonder if her healthy lifestyle actually assists with um, lasting a little bit longer, I'm not sure. Now, what should we do? Hike to Cave Shrine, hike to Bamboo Forest. I think we've already done. Hike around, we could just, I mean, the cave shrine might be more likely to have spirits. So let's go there. Okay, hiking time. 
So this is definitely going to be a special moment in their life because I feel like this is probably Baba and Sarah's last uh, special moment together doing something with just the two of them. And I think Baba has a few important things to say to Sarah, such as how much she appreciates her and how proud she is of her. And what she's learnt from Sarah is that she probably imposed too many of the ex expectations she sets for herself on her daughter when her daughter is a completely different person. So I think she would say, you know what, you always need to follow that heart of yours and um, do what's right for you and that she'll always be proud of her. Oh. Also, can we just say how cool is Sarah's top right now? Love it. I love the fluoro. Okay. Also, can there please be some spirits around here? I wonder if we can bury Baba in the graveyard. Can we like put our tombstone down here? I wish it was a lot so we could because, oh, I guess we could just drag a tombstone out of our inventory if we want to. So she could have maybe said, this is where I want to be buried. So please see, 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 there's the statue. That means tombstone. Oh, look at this, this moment up here. So what is Baba saying? She's telling a story about hiking. Maybe she's saying a nice analogy about hiking and life. He's like, the only way you can find the right path for you is from being true to yourself. Something like that. <laughs> I should have looked up a, a, a Japanese saying or some Japanese wisdom that Baba could have passed on. Okay, here's the cave. We've been here before. I was hoping that we would see some of these... Um, these spirits, but we haven't. We do have magic mushrooms though. Oh, we can't. Oh, Bob is too uncomfortable to do this. Okay, so this uh, this hike ended up pretty long. I, I did try and find a spirit, but I couldn't find it. Uh, Kat has earned a vacation day. He did some superb work too. And instead of Baba cooking tonight, Sarah has said that she will cook instead. So Baba's going to wait very, very happily for her daughter um, to make something for her. Uh, oh no, now Baba's feeling sad again? What is happening with these sentiments? <laughs> uh, Baba's feeling about Sara is deeply connected, okay? And Sara's sentiments about ba Baba, it was that there was some unity in hiking. Hiking through thick and thin, Sara has grown a new fondness for Baba with the memories they have made. Aw, that, well, that's nice. Um, but that's really special because Baba is now glowing, which means she's she's coming to the end of her life. I don't fully understand why she's sad, but she maybe she's noticing that Sara is suffering. Seeing that someone Baba cherishes is suffering makes her sad. So she she probably realizes that Sara deciding to stay with her husband is not really what she wants. Oh my gosh, and also that we have just started a fire. Um, oh my gosh, this is the second fire we've had. No, don't sit down. Oh my gosh, Sarah, how oblivious are you? Oh my gosh. And her husband just got home. I love that Baba was the first one to get the fire extinguisher and Sarah was like, what? <laughs> what, was, what was going on? What's wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, how much is this gonna cost? I don't have money for this. Oh, Baba, where'd she go? She's out here. Now, Baba wants to tell Sara something really important. So they're just sitting in the park. I felt like they needed a nicer spot to have this important conversation. But Baba's gonna tell Sara about an important Japanese proverb, which is, a husband and wife should behave like a hand in an eye. When a hand hurts, the eye cries. And when the eye cries, the hand wipes away the tears. And what she means by that is Ke isn't wiping away her tears as the hand. He's not helping her, uh, even though she's been hurt and unhappy. And she thinks that Sara needs to realize that he probably isn't the right man to be with if you can't be unified in that way. So that's a lot for Sara to, to digest, I think. And it's also really important for her to think about and hear from her own mom because her own mother was probably the one who pushed her to be with Kep because he was such a perfect guy on the outside and, and such a great opportunity for her daughter to be wed and be looked after. And she also says, I'm really sorry for putting all the pressure on you. So this is such an important and sweet conversation. And I gotta say, I love that they're having this conversation in a, 
in this beautiful park someone built. It's, it's very nice. <laughs> It's very nice indeed. But anyway, I'm gonna get these two home. Bob is feeling confident. Sarah's feeling confident too, uh, with their close connection again and from their new best friend. Okay, so it is now the morning and Baba is feeling flirty. Um, Baba, <laughs> I think it's from watching a romantic comedy. Oh, she never got to find love before she, she it was the end of her life, that's so sad. <laughs> But these guys are both up again. I feel like I want I want you to change outfit. I don't know. Let's maybe get into uh let's get let's get into your rock climbing gear. There we go. Uh and have a couple of moments. I don't know why they're constantly wanting to to apologize <laughs> to each other. They have so many things to be sorry for. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Back, Jack.